Oh, sorry. Oh, blimey. Ooh, sorry about that. Got my tea. Mary has made me tea. Oh, right. Diane here, in case you didn't know. Ranger headquarters. Very heavy, very busy at the moment. I'm sorry if there's any noise outside Alan's chopping down trees. He was, oh, I tell you, this morning. He was looking for a job, so we've sent him out there. He's like a big lumberjack. He's got his check shirt on. He's, I don't know what it's called, thing. Very manly out there. So if you hear any noise, I'm sorry about that. It's not my stomach. It's just the tree chopping. So I'm going to try it, show you a little technique here that I love to do. And many of you will know that I'm really... I'm very hyperactive, I always have things to do, and I do this a lot on the plane. And it's a lovely effect. It's using the stencils. There's loads of doodling behind. This is, I do a lot of doodling. You don't have to do as much as me, but I've noticed that a lot of people pick these pages out in my journals because they're just so colourful. Any time you add black, it makes the colours pop. So these are filled in with my water brushes, and I'll show you that later. But, so this is what I'm going to show you. I'm just going to do it in stages. I was, uh, I've got, I've got some step-by-steps that prepared earlier for you. Can you believe? So first thing, you can do this on a tag. I've got a tag here that you could do it on a tag or you can do it in your journal. First thing you do, and you did this when you were a kid, everybody did. You put your pen on the page and you take your pen for a walk. Yeah, you go round and round and you just fill in. So your spaces, they're not too big, they're not too small and you've got some ends. Everybody can do that. And then you decide patterns, where you're going to start. If you want to, you could just colour. So you could paint this red, this red, this red, this red, this blue, this blue. Do you see it to me? But I'm going to add patterns. So you think of some patterns. So I'm going to add circles in this one. And then I'll add circles in this one. You stick to the same pattern till you've done otherwise you're going to be thinking up new patterns constantly but if you're on a plane you can have a pole round you can ask the pilot what's his favorite pattern mind you i'm barred barred from that i tried to steer the plane but they uh, they were very nice about it and you know i wasn't didn't have to post much bail but you can see here so oh, i might put some in here as well so you take one pattern and you put it in about four or five places then you decide on another pattern you think oh i'll have Stripes. So we do stripes. I might have stripes down here, but in a different direction. Do you see? So you just think, you just work one pattern at a time until you've filled it all in like this. Now, if I'd have shown you this at first, you'd have passed out, wouldn't you? Because there's a lot. But if you look, circles, 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 circles. Stripes, stripes 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 very very simple if you just take it one step at a time then when you've done that and you can imagine if you're stuck on a plane for hours or in an airport it's very soothing so when you've done that we start coloring it in so i've started some here for you and i'm just going to show you the people say what do you color in with all the time it's so bright i color in with tim's fine detailer brush which is filled with my ink. So for ex I have one for each one, all 18. So for example, this is my lemon zest one. And all you do is you unscrew it, you take out the black stopper, you take one of my lovely pipettes, put it into the bottle, squeeze, fill the pipette up, and then just fill it in the top. Put the Make sure you put the pipette back. I've been caught out a few times. Put the, the stopper, I'm sorry, not the pipette, and then screw that back on okay and then you're ready to color so again i don't know if you can see the same pattern i do the same color so the squares i've done in the teal so you just lift up just pin just decide on one and then you just gently i mean of course you oh that's, that's the same color as the one before i'm going to go for pink of course you could color these with anything but i just find the pa the paints my ink sorry are so bright that they just look fab. And of course, you can take these on a plane. I take these on a plane wherever I fly. Um, I don't even declare them. They're just in my bag and I just use them. So you can see, you just paint through. So you would paint the whole page 
and if I didn't have so many jobs to do around here I would have painted the whole page but uh, lots of jobs cleaning up after Ranger you the barbecue we had to scrub them all down so that's what you do do when you think it all I'm going to take one of my stencils this is Bert and I'm going to place Bert on the top and I'm going to take one of Tim's paints distress paint it's a lot more fluid you can do it with a normal dabber but this is a lot more fluid so it's nice to do so I just hold on to the stencil it's a bit hard to tip up but I hold on to the stencil and yes I'm painting I'm covering over some of that nice doodling that I did if you were worried about that you could doodle do with the painting this black painting then go back and just colour in the bits that are missing but I, it, you know, it satisfies me to know that this is underneath. But each to their own. It's entirely up to you. Because a lot of it will be cover, covered over. When I get to this side, I don't go the whole way across. So I add, so can you see where I've lifted it? And then I just take a baby wipe and I just blend the paint so it's coming away. To nothing so it looks more natural than if I just had a stripe down the edge so if you didn't want to cover up a lot of this that you were doing what you could do is now you've got your image now you add your color so I can add blue to the spots so whenever I add blue here and here remember I add blue everywhere where the spots are and this is why I like to draw the design first. Some people say, well, could we just do the put the figure down and go over it and then draw? You could, but you're going to be a bit more regimented and even, and I prefer it to be uneven, as usual. So you can do that. You can take this before it totally dries, and we can just spritz it with some water, and we'll lay it on another page just with some kitchen roll just press over the top so we get a nice shadow effect and then you can clean it onto your book as well I clean everything in my book now you could use any color I've used black because black is the most dramatic so it's easier to show but I do like black but can you see once this is dry what I do then is I go in and I outline each shape just to make it stand out if you have a the secure black glaze that's lovely because it just makes it raised a little bit but I just go around each shape to make them stand out and then I usually go around the shape on the I don't want to do too much because this paint is still wet but I outline it again and then I outline it in white and I've got one here that is totally finished so you can see where it started and then so I've outlined in black these pop out more I've outlined in white and then I've, I've outlined these as well and then I've just written a simple quote all around the side it's very effective and I, I just love it kids can do it if you're going to do it with kids just don't put any doodling in just come back to this bit and just get them to paint so this whole area here if you if you want paint drying up a bit, just give it a little squeeze, and then the ink will come out. So this whole he whole area here can be blue, and this bit can be blue. I'm doing it very roughly, and this bit can be blue, and this bit can be blue. So give the child one colour at a time, and do it like that. But I love it. It keeps me quiet for ages. I have my headphones on. I'm listening to my audio books, and I'm just I'm in heaven. Oh, Mrs. Reevely, your plane's delayed for another six hours. Okay, I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. I just wish I could have my cup of tea with me because I tell you, those plastic cups over here, not good, you know. So, have a go. Enjoy. Easy when you know how, isn't it? <laughs>